plushies. What are they doing? You want my safety girl? Be free. free. We're free. We have recently started free ranging our girls for like a half an hour in the evenings. And if you can't tell, they love it. So if a chicken like flies and takes one of us out, apologies in advance. This is a first for us today, free ranging the chickens. The puppies were with them for just a little bit, but we're not gonna push our luck for our first meeting. They love the blueberries. And uh, Maple's looking for bugs. <laughs> it's neat to watch them. This week, we are going to explain to you how exactly it is that we spent over $3,000 on an egg. If you're intrigued by that, or just confused, stick around and uh, you'll find out more about what we mean. It's been a while since Jonathan and I have both sat down and chatted together, so I thought it was time to have both of us here again. It's also gonna be good to have him around this week because I wanted to go through some numbers at the end to explain just how we came to that $3,000 figure. I thought it would be really fun for us to sit down and look at it together because we haven't done that yet. This week brought for our family one of the most exciting milestones since we have moved on to our property and since we have started the adventure of homesteading. That was having our first egg laid by one of our own hens. That's her right there. Maple. <laughs> Thank you, Mabel. Great timing, <laughs> baby girl. See what she's doing right now and keep that in your mind because I'm going to explain this in just a moment. <laughs> We head out on vacation tomorrow, and of course, one of our girls did their first submissive squat today, which means that we're probably gonna have yeah. first egg Maple. when we're not here. Usually when they do that squat, that means that within a week or so, you're gonna see eggs. I won't lie, <coughs> I'm gonna be a little bit sad if I miss it. I will also say that it'd be really cool for Jonathan's mom to be able to experience that first egg. If there's anybody that I was gonna share it with, I would be happy to share it with her because she will be through the roof Are excited you for us. If you think back to last week's video, I kind of walked you through some signs that are good indicators that a hen is approaching laying age, and probably the biggest giveaway of all is the squat, the submissive squat saying that a hen thinks you're a rooster. He ticked me off because if you remember, I said that our hens were not doing that yet. I even had Annie film me and I was trying to pick them up. That same day, he comes out with me and is like sitting like this and reaches over and pets Mabel and she does it. And I was like, <laughs> what the heck? And then I said to Annie, do it to Vanilla. And Annie pets Vanilla and she squats for her. So that same day that I told you they weren't squatting, they started squatting. And that was a good news, bad news sort of thing. So the good news is that we knew eggs were coming. Yeah. The bad news was that we were leaving for vacation the very next day. Womp womp. So I feel like the whole laying thing is very fitting with vacation. Road trip, you always have to go to the bathroom and your parents are asking you to hold it the whole time. I am asking these girls to hold it for five mere days so that they will lay their eggs when I get back. We've had these girls since they were either freshly hatched or two days old and we have not left our house at all since they were born. We were leaving our house for the first time for only five days since they have been earthside. And of course they decided to pick Ben to start lying. You're not gonna wait for me, are you? No, you're not. Brat. Our vacation was awesome though. It was. Um, we had a lot of good time with Whitney's family, a lot of relaxation. The kids had a blast. The, the house was a fun, big house mm -hmm. and uh, got to do a lot of hiking. It was nice to be out in the woods.
we are in the fortunate position, and you have seen this from other videos when we've traveled, like our Hawaii video, that his mom is a rock star, and she is like the first and most willing volunteer to keep things going and well-oiled back at home. Historically, that has been taking care of Arlo, and this time she had the added responsibility of two newfies. This was the first time that we left Cleo behind. And then in addition to doubling her animal responsibilities as far as the dogs go, she also had nine chickens to take care of. It was really neat. My mom actually really loves the chickens and was yeah, sending <laughs> us lots of pictures and videos. We actually caught her on camera in the coop run, sitting on a chair, reading a book with the chickens, enjoying the time with them. We have to admit, Mom, we dropped in once or twice when we knew that she was coming out for the first time in the morning because we were just trying to listen and hear if we heard the squeal of joy <laughs> from finding the first egg. And believe it or not, there never was a squeal because they somehow waited until yeah. we got back. Happy Saturday morning. We just got back yesterday from our vacation. The kids just hung out with their cousins and it was awesome. It was really good to get home to these two crazies. They have the best Grammy in the world. She did amazing, not only with them, but with the chickens. And even though we saw these girls squatting before we left and they are still squatting away, they decided to hold it. So this could be the big moment. Still oh, just oh, 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 we have an egg. We have an egg. <laughs> oh. Excited now, hold on, stay back, dogs. My heart is like that's tapping awesome. Out of yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was no. oh, uh, I'm so happy. No way. Mabel, you're such a genius. It should be pretty obvious that we are pretty well obsessed with our chickens. Mm -hmm. They are really fun and really interesting. These girls are like super entertaining and we were just having a conversation the other day what did you tell me about them yeah i was just surprised how much i actually enjoy the chickens too we come out and spend time with them in the evenings because mm -hmm. we want to and they're fun and they know us and i am not trying to diminish that fact at all but i do just want to be honest and give you the whole picture which is why we titled this video the way that we titled it this is what your island looks like when you have a 20% off your total order from Target coupon. That's gonna be cute. Can't wait for you to try it on. All right, focus on what's in your hand there. What do you have, Annie? A chicken to take the first egg. The first egg ever. So we're gonna wash it, rinse it really well. Now with our own chicken eggs, it's a good idea to crack them into a separate bowl first. So we should get into that habit because sometimes there can be things that grocery stores and factories check for with lights that we don't have here. So here's the moment of truth. Wow. Oh, it is a double yes. yogurt! Oh my gosh. Yay! That's such good luck. Okay. For as magical as having chickens in your own backyard and being able to collect those beautiful multicolored eggs every morning is, having a flock is not like a set it and forget it super cheap sort of decision that, in my opinion, someone should make quickly. If you are going to make the decision to have backyard chickens and you wanna get into it, do it after having done your research and knowing what all is involved as far as a time commitment. And the biggest thing, in my opinion, is just knowing the cost that you're gonna be getting yourself into. <coughs> Excuse Bless me. You. All right, let's get you taking your first bite so you can tell everybody if it's yummy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, look at that. How is it? Two Extra thumbs up? Yummy. Extra yummy? It's even yummier than the store one. Oh, wow. Good. And the orange. I know. It's definitely orange. That's cool. Sorry, buddy. Now we want to get into the cost breakdown so that we can explain to you just how it is that we spent over $3,000 on our first egg. 
several weeks ago when we gave you a coop tour and showed you the final product, we already did a breakdown on the cost there, but our total coop cost for what we built was about $2,100. The chicks themselves were $120 because we did the shipping in the mail, it was winter, and so they needed heat packs and things like that. I had gotten a little starter kit that came with the heat lamp and was like a little corral for them. That was $30. The bedding, which includes all of the bags of the pelletized bedding that we use and some flakes that we use in their nesting boxes, that was about $100. We had gotten a big baby pool that we used in the garage after they were too big for the brooder but weren't quite ready to come out in the coop. That was 20 bucks. Grit that we get that has probiotics and stuff in it, we've spent about $20 on that so far. Electrolytes. We used some electrolytes way back in the beginning when they were newly hatched, because if you remember, we did lose two of our chicks, and so we were trying to revive them. But we have also used electrolytes numerous times throughout the hot summer, and when Brownie wasn't feeling well, we gave her electrolytes as well. So we've spent about 20 bucks on those. Oyster shell, that is something that hopefully we can taper down a little bit now that they're starting to lay eggs because fun fact you can actually dehydrate and crush up their own eggshells and feed it back to them and that can be their calcium but we did spend about 20 bucks on oyster shell so far mealworms they love mealworms as a treat we do use them sparingly but we got a ginormous bag that was 50 bucks it's gonna last us a while but that was 50 dollars the food bins we have food troughs hanging in their coop for food water grit and oyster shell those were $45. The cameras, apart from the coop, they were the second biggest expense. Are they necessary? No. No. But do we use but them yeah. all the time? Yeah, you're on them all the time. Yes. <laughs> I think it's one of the best things we bought. $320 for those. The automatic door, again, is that a luxury? Why, yes it is. But does it make it real nice because we never have to come out here in the early morning? I like to sleep. And <laughs> late at night, Yes, worth it. Yep, $115 for that. An egg holder that he doesn't even know I purchased, but I just purchased that today. It's like this wire mesh thing. I'll show you when it comes. It sits on the counter so we can keep our eggs there. That was $25. Annie desperately wanted an egg basket so that she could collect the eggs when our girls start laying. So that basket, along with the decoy eggs that I showed you last week to deter them from egg pecking, those together were $25. We went through four bags of chick food. They were $20 each, so that was $80. And then so far we have purchased three bags of layer food. So we have spent $45 on the layer feed so far. Okay, so all of that to say, the grand total was $3,135. Twenty four hours later, we had to laugh because literally the moment that I said the price that we paid for our first egg, the battery died and the camera shut down. So we were laughing and saying that we scared the camera with that big number. But as we walked down one night later to let our girls out to free range again, we just wanted to conclude by saying, have we invested a lot of money into this backyard flock? Yes, we have, but we would do it again in a heartbeat. Having chickens in our own backyard and knowing that we are going to know what these chickens are fed and what goes into the eggs that they are laying has been a super rewarding experience already. If having a flock in your backyard is a dream of your heart, don't be discouraged by our number because there are ways that you can make this journey less expensive. We did it the way that felt best and right to us and we have provided our chickens with things that in the grand scheme they probably don't necessarily need. Could you build or buy a coop that is much less expensive? Absolutely. Could you free range your chickens more often and reduce food supplies? Yes. Can you nix some of the extras like the grit and the oyster shell and some of the treats? By all means, yes, you can. So if chickens are something that you are considering, then we hope that our enthusiasm and our love for our girls is contagious and helps you to take that next step and make the commitment. We love these girls. They are so much fun. We have no regrets. <laughs> Get over here, girl. It's your time to shine. And that first egg 
was absolutely worth the $3,000 that it cost. Oh my. We'll see you soon. Here, look at the camera. This is gonna be really hard to focus instead yeah, of looking at the chickens. <laughs> but yeah. The chickens? <laughs> yes, but you need to look at the people too. I am. Hi, people. <laughs> and the biggest thing in my, in my companion. Yeah. All right. I also want to like just make sure we're watching for fox and stuff. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Head count. We're all here. Hi, maybe Mill. <laughs> this is a dream that we've had for a little while now, and it's really cool for it to. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. I like it. Holding a knife. I promise this is for gardening and not for bad intents. Um, anywho. Oh my. In case you didn't know chickens can fly, they can fly. They're not great flyers. They're kind of awkward, but they do fly. <laughs> what was I saying? Good shepherding skills. A plus. You want the egg body? He says, I like eggs too. Like Did your sissy Mabel lay us an egg? Mm. We make purchases as a team because I got a lot of mean comments. I so am actually digging a shallow grave here because I told all of the haters that we make purchases as a team and, and then you just bought I just something. bought an egg holder and I didn't even tell yep. you. Mean people, <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even going to go there. You hurt my you feelings. You didn't even spend that much on it. You that. were very mean. Yeah, it was a small it was purchase. It was that's 20, a little different. $25. That's, Is it okay that I made that purchase? I can cancel it if yes, I need to. Yes, that's okay. okay thanks. <laughs> Say hello to the people. See, I lay eggs now, and I'm very beautiful. 